we're looking at my bike here again today. I got this chain uh, right here. Here's my chain. And uh, we talked yesterday about the chain being kind of like faith. If you listen to the word of God, some people get really like, you know, you got to just focus on the word of God. And it's totally true. But I want to just mention this again. Hebrews 4, 2 to 3. The word which they heard, these, this is the people of Israel, did not profit them, not being mixed with faith in those who heard it. So there's no devaluing the word. The devalue uh, is that if you don't believe the word, it's, you know, it's not, you're not an overachiever by getting all kinds of like understanding. It's great to have it all, but if you don't mix it with faith, you're not going anywhere. You're gonna have the most amazing bike, as I said yesterday, and without that chain on it, it's not moving. Mixing, like if I touch faith, if I touch that chain uh, and I get it fit in right, if I'm working on my bike, I'm gonna get grease all over my hands. That's not in. It's not an in thing to walk around with a lot of grease on your hands. The point is, once I get it all hooked up right, then it starts to move. It's not just that I'm motivated by faith. It's like the whole bike doesn't move without the chain. And um, the other thing is that the grease kind of makes it move, go smooth. If you've ever ridden a bike without a bike grease on it, uh, on the chain, it's kind of like a clicky, uh, it doesn't move smoothly, not really that fast. You want to mix in the faith with, with the whole being of who you are. You want to connect in faith in your heart and it it's not just that faith you know you walk by faith and not by sight faith is the is hoping in things that are unseen all those things we know but the point is the bike ain't moving the promises you know you can have a stellar bike and it'll go nowhere until you get that chain on there you have to mix it and i think it's very important to understand that uh, in covid I don't know. It's like this weird. It's like it, some people can like get into a routine, uh, even with the Bible and faith. And it's like it's like it says in Isaiah. Why do you look back at the old things? Oh, don't you perceive it? I do something new. Faith, right here. When you get it on, when you get moving on that, it's not just you just. It's not just a requirement. You know, the the God of Heaven can take new verses out of the Bible. And he can put them into you. New promises for you. And you just want to, you know, you don't want to look at your life and say, well, I have faith. Second uh, Thessalonians chapter 1, verse 3 says, because your faith grows exceedingly. So the thing about faith is, is that you want to make sure you realize that it's not that you didn't have faith. If you, you you look back to the old things, it says in Ecclesiastes, why it's not wise to say, why were the old days better than these? So you had faith in the old days, but your faith will grow. And it doesn't just grow, it grows exceedingly. Is your faith growing exceedingly? Are the people around you that are speaking into your life, are they telling you, are you seeing in them their faith growing exceedingly? Now, it is experiential faith. The bike will take you somewhere. But you want to be listening right now. Isaiah said, uh, behold, I, I do a new thing. Don't you perceive it? So if your faith grows exceedingly, you know, when you're on this bike, there's some bumps on the road. you got to watch where you're going or you're going to wipe out. And I think sometimes, like when we've hit COVID, this thing, it's almost like we could wipe out. But you've got to remember, my faith can, my faith can, you can proclaim it with me right now. My faith can grow exceedingly. I can get over this hill. One of the things I dread, if you ever have seen me on my bike, if I hit a really big hill, it's just like, oh, like I'm moving pretty slow at the top of that thing. I got guys zipping by me on their bikes that are better than me. But going up a big hill, you just got to keep trucking and ask the Lord to exceedingly grow your faith in the new things in the new time that we're facing right now. I don't like this time. I'm not saying, uh, you know, I'm all that thrilled about it, but I want to make sure that I mix faith with what I hear out of the word. Don't just stand on the word. Mix it with faith. you got to move. The Bible tells us that you walk by faith. It's very important. You have, faith is something that has to move by nature. That's what the Bible says. you got to be moving on this thing. Get the chain on the bike 
and get get out there and go forward in faith today in Jesus name. Amen.